Happy Valentine's Day. Mmm, beautiful. Tom gave me those last night, which was very kind of him. He also surprised me with a massage that we're going for now at Barley Lounge in Manchester. Happy Valentine's Day, bye bye. Welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. If you are new here, then please stick around and subscribe. Today is Thursday, 14th of February, obviously, and we are going into Manchester. We're gonna have that massage this morning. That's booked in at half 10, and then I think we're probably gonna go for some food. I've got my little nasty gal, part of the Valentine's Day range, which just has a little mwah and a kiss. Uh, this tea was gifted to me. I've got my, I'm kneeling on the floor. <laughs> I've got my Topshop jeans on. These are the straight jeans. I'm going to take my YSL Lulu bag. Does it's forecast highs of 13 today, which is practically tropical in this country at this time of the year, but it is it does say it's currently only 3. So I don't know how that's going to drastically change. Just waiting. Tom's filling up petrol and you can't really see me. <laughs> We've arrived in Chinatown. I'm just trying to find out where it is. Bali health lounge it's next to the teppanyaki it is it's here Do you remember it? it's at them doors yay massage time and we are done it's so chill back out to the sunshine and the manic that is Chinatown. I think we are gonna just head up to the road somewhere where you know where it, we're going. Yeah. Is it like a Chinese supermarket or just not even Chinese? Yeah, Chinese supermarket, but there's a, red, there's a restaurant there as well. A restaurant so we can buy it. I'm actually really hungry. When she was massaging like down my side, my stomach kept on rumbling. Sorry. Yeah, and I was like, oh God, she can feel the rumble. Where have you brought me? Have you did see a Chinese restaurant? This is it. It's a um, place called Wing Yet, which is like a big supermarket. We're looking at some stuff at the restaurants. Taking me back to studying Chinese at university. Where are you going? Yeah. We're going to the shop first. Shop first. Oh, I don't know. It might put me off my food. All right. <laughs> well, there's like live eels and stuff down there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Let's have a look at the menu. There's that menu and there's that menu as well. Oh, yeah. We've got special lunches. Do you know what? This restaurant's very glamorous. <laughs> Tom does this thing where he blinks at me if he's embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Right, we've ordered some pork belly and some duck. It's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, baby pineapple. All done at wing. Yep. And now heading back to Burnley. So it's a bit later on now. Tom has literally just left for work this evening, but had a lovely Valentine's Day, despite the fact that we had to cut short Manchester and come back. It was literally a couple of things that Tom had to do and sort out which I was with him for so I still got to see him up until now at which point he's gone to work. It's about six o'clock-ish, just gone six. Yeah, literally just gone six, six oh two. And local to us is like a TK Maxx which I'm gonna go in just for a bit of a browse stretch the legs and then come back and just chill out. It feels like a Saturday today because Tom's been with me all day. It's really weird. It's right next to a Matalan home, so I want to pop in there as well. One thing that I did want to show you is that I very kindly got sent this set from Dorothy Perkins. Who knew they did ski gear? But that's what I've got. I've got some ski trousers. Yeah, DP Snow it's called. These retail for £55. I got them in a size UK 10. And then I also got the matching coat which has a little badge there dp snow on it again furry hood and a belt around the middle as well again in black and white 
and this retails for £70. So for this set, not too bad. And the reason why I've got those is because myself and Tom, I think next week or the week after, I'm not sure yet when, but we're going to be heading to Chill Factor in um, Trafford, if you're local to Manchester, they've got one of those like, indoor ski slopes. So we're going to do a couple of lessons of skiing and basically just have fun so in order to do that i wanted to get some new snow gear and who knows we may be booking some kind of skiing trip any recommendations maybe not this year because season wise we're, we're in dubai in march so i'm not sure if we'll have passed the seasons but maybe next year for one of our january or march trips away maybe we could go skiing i'd love that so any recommendations on where to go do let me know i've got a couple of other parcels that i wanted to open as well so i'll either do that tonight with you or on another day i'm gonna head to the shops first though let's go just pulled up outside tk maxx i've just spotted tom's mum's car i've just parked right in front of us so I'm definitely gonna bump into her when i go in oh and then there's also mackie d's just over there i feel like i've eaten bad all day anyway so why not just carry it on today so yes on the hunt for ski gear for thomas we'll see how we get on there is actually an aldi here as well and i have seen the aldi do ski gear so if tk maxx is a fail I might head over to Aldi as well. No ski trousers by the look of it, just jackets. So, I'm just gonna have a quick look in the home section. Clearance. Always head to the clearance. That is a massive mug. Oh, it's more like a bowl. Some nice chopping boards. I was hoping they might have some of these like basket things in the sale to maybe like get for plants or storage. I think they're all still full price, yeah. They've got one of these mini like rattan plant holders which is quite nice but 16.99 they are and that one's called more white a small one it's nice though i won't make it easy for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it because i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh I just got up really quickly and had, you know, you get a head rush. I'm like, woo. Okay, just excuse my appearance because it's end of the day, a bit oily, a bit shiny, a bit greasy, but reality. I did pick up two pairs of, oh, what have I dropped? Two pairs of ski gloves, both from Aldi, and they're the exact same, just in an X. L and oh no I picked up two mediums by accident oh for god's sake I'll let Tom try them on but I feel like they're probably going to be too small for him so I'll have to take them back and switch them for an XL and then I thought I would just do a little quick unboxing for you I've got these smaller parcels one two three four ah, and then I also have this massive parcel oh my god filled with bits from misguided that they've kindly gifted so everything here is pr products so they're all gifts of which i thought i would just sit down and open no obligation to show you but i thought it could be a fun little unboxing so first one i've just opened them all up this is from a brand called kiss moi that is their handle and their website and they sent me two personalized cases for my phones for my phone <laughs> singular this one has Freya written on it and then this one, I love this one. It's got like my typical beige, white and then Freya again personalised. Love a good personalised gift, it means a lot. And then this one, Flat Lay Company. They do little like makeup bags that you like open up. That's what it's like. So that you can basically have all your makeup um, at your convenience in a bag. But then when you open it up, it just is all flat lay company it's all laying flat so yes yeah, so it's a good little travel case when i'm out and about traveling or like doing overnights here and there or whatever it's always handy to have something like that next up i've got this parcel here which inside <gasps> bobby brown lip products these are the new crushed liquid lips available now 19 pounds each they retail for i have quite a few from the collection so i'm just going to run through the colours that they sent. So generous. This one is very me. Just from looking in the bag, that's probably the most like me, which is Lychee Baby. Give a fig. 
in a jam, hippie shake, big apple, cherry crush. And then we also have smoothie move, peach and quiet, juicy date, bittersweet, hot coca, and then cool beet. I've also been gifted something from Pixie by Petra. They're always very generous with their PR packages. So this is the box, nice rose gold and pink. And then inside, da, 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 two makeup palettes here and then this as well, what's this? Yay, nice. Nice little like eyeshadow brushes, which I always like to have more of because then I don't know, face brushes, you generally use the same colours on your face, but eyes, it's nice to have a variety of eye shadow brushes just to, you know, switch out different colours and everything. So moving on to the very generous, misguided. If you want to see any of these items styled up, then be sure to head over there. It's very Frankton 1. It's got a nice little zip ring detail there, and it's a bodysuit in white in a UK 10. I love ribbed knits. These are really nice as well. They are joggers in white in a size 10. And um, what I like about their joggers is they've got like a little cuff at the bottom, nice stretchy waistband. They could be quite nice together. Okay, this is part of their Valentine's Day range. It is a dress, ring detail midi dress. I got this in a size eight and it does fit, but it's just, a little bit weird at the top, that's the only thing, because I have tried it on already. This bit here cups your boobs really nicely and it's a really flattering line, but this bit can just kind of drop down a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but you'll, I'll show you a picture on the model of what it looks like once it's on and it's all in its right place. It's a really flattering dress. This dress, I'm a big fan of, absolutely love it. It's in a size 10 and it's the roll neck sleeveless knitted midi dress. And it's exactly as it says, roll neck sleeveless. It's that ribbed fabric again, which is my favorite. Next, I got another bodysuit. This is like such a thick fabric as well. Just plain gray. I did turn up the sleeves, but you don't have to have them turned up. In a size 10, really thick. Oh, and it's got like a slight slit at the front, if you can see that. Cute little PJ set in leopard, no, snake. I actually have this in, in fact, they're under my pillows. I'm wearing them currently in like a rose goldy kind of satin color. And I wear them all the time. They're the comfiest little PJ set I own. So I picked up another one in this cute little snake print. This I tried and it just won't get on, which is a shame. It's a denim skirt in a UK 10. And also the only other thing, when I saw it, I thought it was gonna be quite like oversized. It's not, it's really tight. And also this distressing here, it's kind of like a lime greeny blue as if it's run already rather than white. But each to your own. Lime green's really in at the minute, so if you like it, you might really like that. Okay, moving on, I got this top from uh, Misguided, obviously. In a size 10, it's a roll neck raglan oversized sweat. Don't know what that means. But it's basically got this like insert, which looks like a roll neck under a sweatshirt, but it is actually like attached. This is so thick and it's really, really soft as well. It's quite long. Well, not long, but it's like not cropped at all. And I just can't get over the quality of this one. This is really good. Really impressed with that. Something which I think they've changed over the years maybe because I used to love wearing their Cine jeans. In fact, I have a pair that I live in and I got them in a size eight, I believe, and they fit perfectly. But these are a 10 and they're Cine but they're ripped, but they're too, they're too tight. They're not high-waisted enough, so they must have changed the Cine design. Vice was the other one that I really liked from Misguided. So again, these ones I'm not gonna wear. The next item I got is a coat in a size 10. This is a button front slim coat in nude. This is a really nice, like cool toned stone kind of nude. And it's got a little tortoise shell button as well. Just a nice tailored coat, very simple and plain. Quite nice with like a white hoodie underneath. The white, cause it's like a cool toned rather than a cream, white works really well with that color. Next jacket I got was, and this last clothing item I got, it's this massive, massive oversized puff jacket. I got a size 10, little hint to like future trends, khaki. Khaki's gonna be big these next couple of seasons. What I love about this as well, oh, 
my khaki joggers. These are Victoria's Secret. But what I really love about this as well is that all the hardware is khaki. So I love the fact that it's all monotone. Last but not least, I did pick up a couple of pairs of shoes. Okay, so the first pair that I got were these, like mules. They're just so beautiful and classic and timeless and the little like pointy toe as well. I just, I think they're beautiful. And then these, I think, I think I prefer the style of those, but I think these are gonna be a lot comfier and I'm gonna get even more use out of. Because firstly, the crossover detail on the foot, but also the thicker heel. Even though it's thin from like side, it is like one of those like flat, chunkier heels. So again, pointy toe design, big fan of that. And what I liked about this and thought that it was quite unique, this is like kind of stretchy, is that if you can see, rather than going straight over the feet, which I have quite wide feet, it kind of angles up and then across again. So I don't know, I just thought they were really unique, yet so simple, timeless and... I like them, I like them a lot. So that's everything for tonight. So I'll see you soon. Lululemons. Oh, it's here. We've gone past it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna pop into Lululemons and have a look. I've never owned anything from Lululemons before, but I'll just have a look. First impressions. Smells amazing in here, doesn't it? Mmm. I can definitely do that, Tom. <laughs> you can't even do that. Can we get, uh, what are they? They're like white chocolate or lemon? You want one lemon? I'd rather the chocolate one, I think. Two of those then, please. Yeah. Where's yours gone? Yeah. <laughs> We've eaten it all already. Yeah. Quick outfit of the day. PLT. I saw it first. Little Smiths. Coach. Primark. Adidas. I'm going to try these on. I've got a six and a half and a six. And they've been reduced from 29.99 down to 24. But these style usually are like, I'm sure... Maybe 50, something like that. Let there be light. So, back home now. It's a bit later on. Um, as you may or may not have gathered from the clips earlier, we ended up venturing off into Manchester today just to do a couple of bits we needed to pick. Um, I helped Tom's mum pick up a mirror that she bought from HomeSense. So, went over in her car and we got Rudy's pizza, which is so naughty, but me and his mum shared one, so it wasn't too bad. And then for dinner tonight, I've just picked myself up one of the Asda's extra tasty half chicken and i'm gonna just have that on a sandwich so again not the healthiest but it's the weekend and ending it off with a sticky toffee pudding which is like my one of my favorite desserts also got home to this parcel which i've just opened the top and it's from bare minerals and they have sent me Caring Longwear Lipstick, introducing new Bear Pro Longwear Lipstick. Interesting. And then they've sent the shades, all nice, Spice and Peony. Oh, I've just ruined it. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> I've like stuck it on the lid so that, oh, anyway. So I'm going to make myself some dinner. Tom's just gone to work. So yeah, trash TV and yummy food. 
Tuesday it is and I'm going into Manchester today to meet with Lydia just to do um, a couple of outfits, shoot a couple of outfits and um, we're parking in the car park that we park that only has four hours so we'll see what time we get done, have lunch, maybe a bite to eat somewhere and then, and then I'll see, I'll probably get back just because you know sometimes you're in the mood to shop, today is just not one of those days, I'm just feeling like I just need to be at home and get some like admin -y bits done and just sit in my comfies. That's just the kind of day I'm feeling. I might change my mind once I'm there, but right now that's how I'm feeling. I'm also very hot, so I feel like getting ready and everything. I'm just like, oh, I just need to chill out. And then um, last night, in fact, the last two nights, both me and Tom haven't slept very well. And I think, not to blame him or anything, but I think... I have a restless night when he has a restless night and vice versa because if one of us can't get comfortable and is tossing and turning or fidgeting, the other one doesn't get settled, if that makes sense. So it kind of like, it's like each other that keeps each other awake but sometimes I just have these nights where, I don't know if it's insomnia or what but I just feel like I'm tossing and turning, I can't get comfortable or can't control my body temperature or whatever, I don't know. But Tom's been the same the last couple of nights, so like I said, it's it's probably each other. God, I'm so hot. Maybe it's just getting warmer. I did look at the forecast today because I checked weather for Manchester today for shooting. It said mostly dry, a little bit drizzly later on, but then I checked for, was it Friday? I'm going to meet my mum potentially. Do a bit of shopping like near Leeds area and it says 16 degrees which is so hot for this time of the year in the UK so anyway I've got my things packed up got my few outfits ready to shoot on to Manchester I'll see you when I get there I'm with Lydia now Hi. with two outfits Ooh. down no we're not well, one well this is the second yeah two changes I'm a fan of this actually it's a misguided dress nice which was gifted and then my I saw it first coat very thick heavy duty like good quality this one yeah, isn't it it's quite nice. you've got it <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> right so or we could even do that as a background but further away yeah we said that last time right outfit number two so saying the Chinese New Year decorations are already up but I'm not sure when it actually no, is no I think it's been when you were at the Ivy was that not yeah that was Chinese really, New Year which was two weeks ago Year of the pig. What are you? Oh, I 90. Don't know. Are you 90? 95. 90. 95. Oh. My brother's 97. I'm 92. Yeah. I'm year of the still monkey. In the 90s. Yeah. 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 Tom's 89. I'm so. born in the 1980s. <laughs> Lydia's having a disaster spilling tea everywhere. Oh, and she's just done it again. <laughs> that flimsy little wooden stick. <laughs> and she's still going in with more milk. Yeah. Milky. We're off for lunch and look it starts spitting, you can see on this coat. Yeah, that's a problem with it. misguided. Um so yeah, I think I think we're just gonna go to Cafe Nero. Um have a bite to eat and then we're done. Lydia's venturing into Invisalign, so she's got an appointment after this. Yep. I'm excited for you. I'm nervous for me. You'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be we fine. We can get an outdoor shot here. Oh yeah, we could do it. What to have? Soup. This looks right at my street, banana and walnut, but I can need something savoury. Rice and vegetable soup. Mm. See what sandwiches they've got. Some wraps. Love these. They are a little bit naughty. I might have one though. This is the best. Like I think Cafe Nero is my favourite cafe. They have the best croissants. When you compare their like pastries to Starbucks or whatever, they're so much better. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna have a bite to eat here, then shoot. As in, shoot off. Shoot off. We've been shooting. Done all that. Had our lunch and saying goodbye to Lydia now because she's. Off. I think I'm going in the so wrong way. Why no, I find a lot there. Why find different colours now? Zoomed in. No, it's more brown. Yeah, that's just because look. 
<laughs> That's just the brightness. Yeah. She's still an amateur, guys. No, you've got to go, go down, down King here, Street, yeah. Um, yeah. I think we'll I'm just going to, we've there. still got an hour and a half on the parking, oh, and you've got an appointment, got the but I don't. So I think I'm just going to have a quick browse around the shops. Yeah, we're going to leave in. each other now. Um, yeah. Well, I'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Watch me pray. Might be a bit premature, but I'm looking at stuff for Dubai already. It feels very early to be buying swimming costumes and things like that. <laughs> This is beautiful and I'm thinking for Dubai. Uh, it's 39.99. I just love like the length of it more than anything. Love that. I'm loving all of their straw bags and I can't decide if I should get any or wait. So just heading back to my car now, which I think someone will snap up this space as soon as someone comes in, they're gonna want me to go because this car park gets so, well, it's full, you have to like sit and wait for a space. But yes, back at my car now. There were a couple of dresses that I liked from Zara and I took a picture of the, uh, like the label so that I can have a look online and see if it's online when I get home. Just because I wasn't 100% sure, I still want to look online maybe on ASOS and basically I'm thinking, just one second. Basically I'm thinking for Dubai. Now we're only there for seven days, so maybe seven dresses, seven evening outfits. But I kind of want like midi slash maxi dresses, ones that are like conservative. I feel like that's the style in Dubai and it's quite a conservative country anyway. So it'd be quite nice to have like more midi dresses. I did bump into a lovely subscriber. So if you're watching, thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hello. It was lovely to meet you. I didn't catch your name. Sorry, I should have asked and I would have mentioned it. But you know who you are. Thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hello. And yeah, I was in a bit of a weird mood this morning, but now I'm feeling much more positive. So going to set off back home now. And I don't know what I'm doing this afternoon because tomorrow's video, which is the home bargains haul, if you didn't see it, I'll leave it linked. That's all scheduled and ready and uploaded now. It's only Tuesday, so I've got Sunday's vlog. I can start editing, but I'm obviously still filming Sunday's vlog. So I've got a few emails I need to get back to bits and bobs but other than that I'm pretty free this afternoon so what I might do Tom's out till late as well I might do a bit of a house clean a bit of a reorganize in fact I might even look at some dresses online for from ASOS and stuff tonight oh and I missed two parcels one from Ego got some new shoes coming from them and also H&M delivery I've got a few new H&M home bits so if I get them tomorrow re-delivered I'll show you guys what I picked up so I'm back home and my parcels were actually left with neighbours so it means I can open them today for you let me just move in front of the window because it's starting to get 
a little bit dark outside. So Ego very kindly got in touch and wanted to send me a couple of bits. So these are gifted, but no obligation to post about them. But I figured I always open up my blog mail with you guys because it's like Christmas, isn't it? Oh, let me get some scissors. They are boots that are like more of the cowboy style heel, as you can see. So I'm gonna try these on. I did size up to a size seven in both of these just because with boots and ordering shoes online, I tend to be like in between sizes, in between six and seven, but I find with boots, more likely I'm gonna wear like thick socks, so I'm all right sizing up. So that is what the heel looks like. It's like a faux croc. I feel that black is quite like understated and quite simple. But the other color that I got, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe they are two out there for me. It's like a nude faux suede with a white snake print and then the like gold, what is that called? Like cap, metal cap. A little bit of the snake print on the back as well. I mean, I do feel like it's gonna be harder to style these ones. Whereas the black ones, I feel are very wearable. This massive box from H&M Home. Very exciting. And I picked up a couple of bits. These were bought by myself. The main reason why this is so big is for one item in particular, and that's a rug that I thought was so affordable that I thought maybe for upstairs, mind you, it's not even that big, it's just the length of it. So this is what it is. It's like this wide, but it's longer, so it's a bit more of a runner. And if I show you closer up, it's like a woven white and beige fabric that I thought could be nice and nice. <laughs> in our bedroom. If you guys follow me on my home account, Frey Farrington Home over on Instagram, whenever I have little housey updates, I usually post over on my stories or if not the feed itself. So be sure to check that out if you wanna see how I end up styling it if I keep it. And then this is something that I'm not sure about. I need to like work out, see if it works or not. But if you saw in over Christmas, I got Tom a blanket from Gravity Blankets. It's like a weighted blanket, which he loves, but it's a gray that doesn't really fit in our bedroom. So I thought I could maybe see if a single duvet will actually fit over it. And it does have one pillowcase as well. And I was looking for more pillowcases or like cushion covers. So hopefully the pillowcase will fit one of my cushions. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna see how that looks on, style it up on the bed, see if it looks nice. Another thing I did pick up is, like I said, I was after cushion covers. So I picked up this one first of all, which I think was around about seven or eight pounds. And then another one, this one I remember being really affordable at like three or four pounds. And it's got, I think there was three different colors as well that you could choose from. There was either black, a beige or another color, which I can't remember. And it's the same size. And this one actually has the pattern on both sides. So that's really affordable at 3 dollars Last but not least is this, which is a laundry basket that is collapsible. So in our spare room, we keep our laundry basket, which we've got this like Moroccan style one, which I love, but it doesn't fit much in. So we have that, but I also have a cheaper one from B&M that just doesn't look quite right. I don't love the look of it. So I'm just gonna get rid. It's a bit tatty and old anyway. Whereas this it just kind of sits on the floor in the spare room. I might even put the rug. In fact, we've already got a fluffy rug in there. So that could just sit on the corner of it. And it's also convenient because then it's easily carryable upstairs and downstairs. So yeah, I actually really like that one. I think it was a little pricier at around 24 pounds, something like that. But I think it's worth it for something like this. If I show you the material closer up. Accents like this. For me, it's not a laundry basket. It actually adds something to the room and is like a key feature almost. Like I love having jute baskets, seagrass baskets with plants in or throws or cushions. I just kind of like dotted around the house. So that'll be within the spare room. This afternoon slash evening, what I've decided I'm gonna do is I've got a new idea in mind of a video to do with like a dupe home related again so i bought a couple of bits for that video and i have worked on it a little bit more done a bit more research so i think i'm going to head out to poundland and b m and the, the area that i'm thinking of has a matalan a tk max poundland b m next home but i'm not going to go to next home so the other four i'm going to have a look 
Uh, I'm not going to take you guys with me because I do want to keep it separate for the other video. Uh, so for today I'm going to call it a day because it's going to get pitch black anytime soon and then I'm not really sure what I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm probably actually just going to have an at home admin -y kind of work day. So what I thought I could do is, I know it's only been a few days this weekly vlog but the few days have been like slightly longer. I thought what I could do is run the weekly giveaway right now to end off this video. Okay so for this week's giveaway I'm going to be sending you guys some products which I got gifted from a brand called Jersey Honey. I just have so many products at the minute that I need to be strict with myself and like have a bit of a clear out to be completely honest with you. I have too many products to try. So these I'm going to send to one of you guys. So in here you've got an intensive hand cream, luxury hand wash. That's a nice gift set for somebody if you don't even want to keep it for yourself. And then we've got a luxury conditioner and natural shampoo in there. And then just to add a little something extra in there as well, I'm going to send it in, the, well not in this case because they won't fit, but I'm going to send it with this case that says shine bright in like a silvery kind of grey with gold zip. So all you need to do to be entered is be subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload and then also if you leave a comment below letting me know you've done that with a form of contact. So it can be an email address, a Twitter, or Instagram handle and then the following Sunday what I do is I load all the comments from the previous video, scroll down and randomly pick a winner. So best of luck to everyone who does enter. Do enter every week, it's the same chances for everyone so even if you've been a previous winner make sure you enter because it's the same odds that you're going to get chosen again. So be sure to do that. Thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog and um, I also thought about a couple of other ideas for videos coming up recently that may be like an assumptions or some kind of challenges. So if you have any suggestions do leave them in the comments below and stay tuned on my Instagram stories where I may be asking for some questions, some assumptions and things like that for upcoming videos. So yes, be sure to head over to Frey Farrington one on Instagram Follow me on there and then keep eyes peeled on my stories if you wanted to uh, be involved with that. Thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time. Bye guys.